actually going with the Pokemon Trainer this time. Instead of the Pichu, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. But neither of those really worked out, though. Let's see if the Pokemon Trainer works out better on this stage. Okay. Landing fair still work out against a small character like Squirtle. Just fine. All right, a couple neutral dash dances here using those blasters to create some space. Not only that, see how uh, Elon's going to make the approach. That was so quick from Eon, just dash in, able to get that dash grab, put him in a bad position. And switch the Ivysaur. Potential tech chase situation off that trip with the dare. Not able to find anything, though. Space. Pretty solid space warrior there. Wow. So one thing to note about Ivysaur, right, is aerials and how much... Uh, how much disjoints they have. You have yeah. to really respect it, especially on the upper and the down air. And speak of the devil, it will strike when you least expect it when you're that low from the stage. Yeah, I think Charlie was bagging on him being able to grab the ledge in time. Yeah. But he was forced to use the up B, and Charlie was like, he comes to me, Papa. He's able to go ahead and get that stock. <laughs> well, definitely father feeling like mother might be the better choice in terms of parents. Hopefully Charlie picks the right one here because he gets that dash attack. Trying to put Charlie, at the, um, sorry, Eon at the ledge. I like the fact that he went for the withdraw there all the way to the other side of the stage using that armor as a safe passage. Yep, able to protect himself through that landing. And here we go. I think that was uh, up tilt or forward tilt or something trades it out there. He's able to keep, keep up the control, but that double jump bait makes Eon think that he could get the landing punish, but doesn't quite happen to come to fruition for Charlie. Wow, that was such a quick cross up too. I wasn't quite expecting that, but Oof. there we go. I like it. Tries to see if Charlie's going to pick the, uh, the platform to land on, and immediately Charlie knows, hey, that up there, those down airs, do this tremendous work. Comes back in with Charizard with the forward air, and immediately the flamethrower. And the safe back air at that point, right? If you get the tipper of it, there's extra knockback. Yep, try to jump back. Doesn't quite work out it the way he wants to. Okay, a couple dash dances. Charlie looking for a little bit of space yet again. He knows if he's going to Squirtle, he's going to be using that speed to his advantage. And he's able to use it with these follows from the grab. Squirtle has a lot of bit of a combo plays compared to Ivasaur. Yeah. I like that they're using that forward tilt. Keeps him in enough hit sun so he's able to follow with the grab afterwards. Very nice stuff coming from Eon Squirtle right here. Grab, Ooh. back throw, I like it. Doesn't go for the classic down throw. He immediately goes for the classic down air. That's been Eon's bread and butter here so far at the bottom of the stage. He knows at that point for Charlie, nowhere to go but up. And that up B is going to be the one thing that Charlie's going to be able to use only. I think it was one of those situations, too, is that Eon is so good at using his Vine Whip and his Razor Leaf yeah. to keep Charlie in a position where low recovery is pretty much the safest bet. And he had that data also from the previous set they played, too, that he liked to go low, low every single time. So he just said, okay, finally, you know what? I'm just going to meet you. I'm going to send a message. Stop going down there. <laughs> Indeed. And that's for Charlie to start understanding, right? If I keep going low... That's gonna give Eon the victory that he's looking for, right? That's what he wants. He wants me to go low. He gets this disjointed Ivysaur down there. If I am a little bit too high, we saw Eon kind of back up from the platforms a little bit on PS2 because he knew, hey, I might get hit by back air. I might get hit by up B. I might get hit by up air if I'm on those platforms when Eon wants me to. So he needs to make that adjustment for, for the bottom of the stage. Uh, All right, well, both players, a little bit of thought here. I could definitely see them possibly going to a much bigger, um, I was going to say a bigger stage maybe, get some spacing for a wolf there, but uh, somewhat of a bigger stage. Cal's Pokemon League is a biplot, but it's more shaped like a pool with the platforms of the stage being out of the water and the battle taking place within the water, of course, the center stage. Leon going to stay tried and true to the Pokemon trainer. This character, this character definitely feels like either... A lot of people have been putting Pokemon Trainer at high tier, but I, sometimes I feel the Pokemon Trainer is either the very bottom of top tier, or definitely one of those top tier cutouts, or the very best of the high tier for sure, in my opinion. Right. Okay. But opinions here, let's see what Eon can go ahead and put that into play. Yep, put him off stage. I think he tried to use the water gun and make him go low again. We'll see what he does here. <laughs> Unfortunate, yeah, back air is multi hit, and up till picks him back up, and still Eon not letting. Charlie breathed too much on this second game already. Off throw into the forward air here, and immediately Charlie tries to get the platform extension. Pretty good opportunity to know where he was going to send Eon from. Eon back at the ledge. It's that parry. Trying to go for the cross up here, but he's not able to find anything but the stage itself. I do like that Eon sees that as a better result for going for a cross up. Just find the stage, stay on it. If I don't have to approach right now, 
Better to stay alive and take more hits. Yep. I'll try to dash in and catch his landing, but the forward tilt comes out in time. Oh, and the double jump doesn't quite get to the position he wants to, and he has to have a lot of time to try and get back to the stage. That down smash is going to cover that just fine. Solid. I like that opportunity for Mion. He tries to get one of Punishers, especially when he sees how the shield standoff is playing out. Good spacing here, I like it. Looking for more wolf punishes, but this time as Ivysaur, he definitely gets some good rewards with that one. Yeah, he's waiting there and he's waiting for Charlie to do something incorrectly so that he can get a pivot grab or something like that. But it didn't quite come when he was looking for it. Charlie was being a little bit aware of how he's gonna go for the chase. Not gonna be able to get anything there on those on the platform. We even saw the crucial tech from Elon right there at the platform because he knew Charlie already had that backer in play. He pretty much had it buffered at this point. Knowing that Eon had nowhere to to land but the platform, and if he didn't take it, it was curtains for that stock. But he gets the grab, the back throw, the big knockback, Squirtle, top three lightest character of the game. That definitely goes to show here. Oh, late wave land on the platform. Didn't quite work out there. I mean, just in general, that platform is so good because it's in the right space where B Wolf wants to pull up air yeah. and cover all that space. So just trying to put yourself on that platform, sometimes it's not very well advised yeah. when you're fighting against Wolf at high percent. And I feel like at that point, it might have been better just to go low for the station. That's something we don't see coming up from Eon. He only goes low when he's sent in that general direction without cause. All right. That time, Eon went for a gamble there. The, he knew his double jump was gone, but Ooh, uh, it's the directional air dodge to the ledge. Just enough for Eon, or excuse me, Charlie, to make it back to the stage. But still, good spacing for Eon on that one, especially with the up I'm sorry, but we'll just call it out late there. Speaking of not calling it out late, though, Charlie gets those two forward airs. Flash attack, Charlie. Definitely playing a little bit more fire compared to game one against Eon. Eon looking to see that Charlie went low, but this time Charlie pulls up the up a little bit faster than Eon can react to. Yep, and he hugs it towards the stage so that the hitbox comes in. Up smash, not quite enough to do it actually. And again, stuck on this platform, it's very hard to get around it. And but one of the things about Ivysaur, right? Not that great of landing options as well. Yeah. Back throw. Eats him off. Oh, and he tries to space himself up for a punish there, but immediately that up range. Underestimated from Eon. All right, that was one of the situations. Uh, Vine Whip will actually target your opponent before it tries to target the ledge first. Mm -hmm. So it's a good way to keep off, and that's why you see a lot of people space around. Um, Ivy Sword oh. said, cross up air? Right, at I'll that point, it. at that point, I felt that that's what Eon wanted to go for. He wanted to go for an aerial out of the ledge. He wanted to fight himself out of the ledge. And for Charlie to see that he had nowhere left but to fight himself on the ledge and to go for a cross up bear, that was pretty good. And even if he wouldn't have failed that bear, he could probably force himself for a more of a ledge trump at that point. Right, hopefully grab the ledge or see how Eon's going to react afterwards. Yep. Still good stuff from Charlie. I mean, I mean Eon. He had some adjustments with this stage, like you said. Looking to work out better for Charlie, especially with how the platforms work with the back air. The wolf. All right, we're going to smash one out this time around. Goes for the fox this time. Knows that he can get some easy juggles. Very similar to Ivysaur, you can get the up air juggles onto the platform, get an auto cancel, and then continue on top. But Fox can do just the same, and he's probably more comfortable with his character, so I understand the pick. Yeah, and for those of you guys wondering, of course, Smashville is passless for our legal rule set. It is a mono plat, and that platform pretty long, so you are able to get some Fox juggles. Definitely the, in my opinion, this stage is much better as a legal stage than for per se Yoshi's Island, which is a worse version of the stage in my opinion. Enough about opinions here. Let's see how they work out for Charlie and Eon. As definitely Eon feels the opinionated going Fox here will work out much better with the mono plan in play. Yep, here we go. Up tilt into fair. Keeps up with the juggles. Again, the platform is so sticky. Makes it so difficult for you to try and come off of it. Nice space out those back airs. And I like it. He even space himself when Wolf comes back on the stage. Cross up back air. Dash attack. I oh, like it. I definitely saw that Charlie yeah. coming up. Good follow up. No four tilt that time around, but gonna catch that jump, finally get that back air. He's been looking for it, and Eon just barely grazing uh, death in the face. But that time, Charlie's able to find it just in time. Okay, at this point here, for Eon, he's definitely trying to lure Charlie into the platform to get these platform sessions, but Charlie meaning not having any of it. Here's an ob tilt, but like I said, right, he's looking to continue the follow-ups, and Charlie's avoiding them. Yep. I like how Eon is, okay, that Force Smash is going to be able to close it out. I like how Eon is controlling his jumps just to make sure he doesn't get caught on the platform. Ooh. And he goes underneath it so that he knows he can get the up tilt juggles instead. He's that great control over his character and fast falling through the platforms, not landing on them instead mm. and be able to still follow up. That platform can get very annoying, especially against a character like Fox who likes to full hop, who likes to get that aerial control. Ooh. Oh my gosh. 
At that point, I like the fact that Eon went a little bit higher there, not trying to go low, understanding the down smash works, but he gets the classic Fox Vortex here. A little bit of a Vortex, Vortex light, I would say. Uh, Naibo got a follow up. Crosses up with Nutra, and immediately Eon sees the reward that he gets for the cross up, but immediately Charlie responds to the up smash. At that point, he knew where he was going to be, and Eon knows where Charlie's going to be looking for in terms of landing. That was like a smash four read there. Just oh had yeah. him in the air, air dodge read, and it's like, okay, you're coming down, and I'm going to get the up smash. But <laughs> we're bringing this back to even, able to close out that stock one more time. One stock apiece. All right, oh. all three jabs. Going to be hitting with him with the shield against Eon. Eon backs off for a second. He's probably trying to read how the shield was going to play out there. Yeah. You see, Charlie like never goes for jab, just because it's a very okay jab yeah. <laughs> in terms of other jabs in the game. Doesn't have a multi hit or anything like that either. But here we go. Just the quick one, two, three, and the range isn't even that great as well. Mm -hmm. Don't have to worry about the end line just from the jab. Yep. Besides, so tries to go for other things to pressure shield instead. But here we go. 98 percent, 109. Already on the tray. Check oh. chase. Oh, doesn't get it though. Oh, but man. he gets the landing there. That's gonna be able to do it instead. And we even look for the second check chase on the same time. Right, right. He missed the first one. Not going to miss the mark on the second one. And for Eon, that second check chase is pretty much the check mark he needed. Yep. Right. And it's good for him, too, because at that situation, right, he, he kind of had Charlie a little bit on the fear factor. Charlie avoiding the monoplat. He knows if I'm on this platform, that's what I'm giving Fox what he wants. And if I'm not, that's what I have to do. Yep. All righty, here we go. Let's see what stage Charlie decides to go through this time around. I don't even know if Eon banned the stages yet. He's been looking very stoic this whole time. Yeah. And uh, this is kind of funny. One one person's hair is a lot poofier, and one person's hair is a lot straighter since when you look at their high true. school <laughs> photos. <laughs> yeah. Uh, people used to tell me Charlie looked like uh, Shia LaBeouf. Esports Shia LaBeouf back in the day. <laughs> All right, here we go. Going back to Kalos this time around. Interesting. There is no DSR yeah. in the California, California rule set. set, so you can go back to the stage that you want on. But that doesn't matter. What matters right now is Charlie getting 87%, carrying him across the platforms, and he almost gets that four smash, but that jump fair just in time. Charlie has a second chance at life. He gets time to breathe, finally. Taking <laughs> a breathing here. Charlie just putting in those neutral airs and the down smash to heavy work. But this time, Eon makes the adjustments, right? Going a little bit higher with that side beat. That's been paying off for him pretty well. Avoiding getting down smash, avoiding going low. Both players make the adjustments here. And the great dash dancing at the down smash. Not going to be the mark there, but Charlie missing the mark on that side B. Yo, I don't, man, I don't even think he needed to do that tech chase read in the down smash. I'm pretty sure the down smash should have connected, <laughs> but he's just kind of flexing on him, you know? Give like, him that flex, man. Go let him know you're alive. Yeah, Gotta hit go. him with a soul. <laughs> like, yo, man, you really have to do that to me? Yeah, but another down tilt starts off into a great combo. 37%. And gets a drag down fair, too, just to be able to stop his pressure. Jab, jab into the hip check. Not able to get anything else, though. That time, just pushing this up a little bit too far. Charlie able to reverse it with a back air. Good tech chase. Sees the fact that Charlie didn't even go for a tech on the platform there. Oh, that time. <laughs> he knows that <laughs> he knows that Charlie's been trying to tech roll in. I don't know what it is, but it's just that it's very difficult for him to try and go away from this. It's a very scary place to be. And let's see how if he tries to make oh, it back, no. but he doesn't even try. He knows that the directional air dodge is going to take too much time. And now Eon with a fresh two-stock lead this time around. Yeah, Eon with a lot of momentum here. Down tilt into back air. Almost gets the follow, but I like the fact that he sees when he crosses up, right? If I get the cross up, I'm going to see the response from my opponent, especially with a cross up like that. Oh, and like I said before, Fox is so good at intercepting in the air with how quick he is. It's very difficult for Wolf to keep up sometimes. You know, just, just more buttons per second, basically, between <laughs> these two characters. But here we go. And definitely, when we talk about more buttons per second, we talk about more DPS per second, right? The damage per second that Fox is able to do against Wolf definitely plays off. Like the pummel there goes for the up throw, trying to see pretty much an up throw check at yep. this point, right? The dare? Oh, not enough to do it. Classic Smash 4. Pre okay. Ooh, yo, he went for all the risk and none of the reward with that forward air. I would like to have seen the neutral air. Would have split that option there. Yeah, been a I mean, input. that would have been a way to go out. I mean, drag down fairy into death is an option if you're up a stock. He decided yeah. to go for it, but this is Charlie's chance to bring it back around, but still 100%. And he just walks away. He does not want to deal with it. He does not want to deal with that, but he has to face it in the... Face it in the face, yeah. yeah. Great. I'm a great commentator, guys. But there we go. <laughs> Char 